Good morning. My name is Liu Jialing from China. It gives me great honor to be able to attend this academic conference. My title is Enhancing Learning Outcomes with Blended Learning in Higher Education of China. Blended learning approach is a term of learning that tends to combine the digital learning tools. Moreover, this essential approach also promotes the entire usage of the multidisciplinary, multimodal, and multidisciplinary courses. It entirely supports the course management practices. The current era is all about rapid change that are issues of technological and scientific advances. In the education system, it is necessary to keep up with the recent changes in technology. The research that was carried out is based on blended learning approach in higher education in China. The research was based on the learning approach and its, effective, its effectiveness. Many of the higher education institutions of China have adopted the blended learning approach as it has helped them to motivate the students as well as make the students more productive in their studies. However, not all of the schools, colleges, and universities have adopted the method. And as a result, finding the outcomes and experiences seemed to be difficult. While there is a growing consensus on the advantages of blended learning, the evidence on its efficacy is varied. Researches over the last decade have shown that blended learning approach has gained a strong foothold in Chinese health education institutions. It has been found that there is an overemphasis on this piece of blended learning approach in China as per many educators. The Chinese government has invested to improve the hardware of the classrooms. The public health crisis caused by the global pandemic has thrusted the education technologies. The aim of the research is to understand the approach of blended learning in the teachers of higher education institutions in China. Four research questions are put forward in the research and the corresponding research objectives were achieved through the whole research. This research is significant as it assists the learners to explore the innovative technology that tends to use a variety of tools relating to learning, for instance, virtual classrooms and lectures. It also improves as a whole the quality of information and education for making assimilation while making the whole teaching productive and efficient. It, in, it incorporates several methods of the provided instructions that may improve to provide an effective learning outcome. It tends to allo allow personal personalized education to the learners and encourage the students to work on from their own pace. Blend, blended learning is becoming popular with time, specifically higher education in China. There are many reasons behind that. Firstly, with advancement in technology, 
it has become necessary to shift from the conventional methods of classroom study to an advanced and advanced method, where both the teachers and students can be benefited. Secondly, due to the global pandemic, it has become important to shift to new methods. Thirdly, blended learning gives an opportunity to every student to get access to studies, take the classes, upload the task, get the feedback and the mark, have a conversation with the teachers sitting at home at any corner of the world. Many scholars and experts have put forward their own views on the effectiveness of blended learning and how education institution of China. In this chart, I only list a few of them. This is a blended learning approach framework. From the chart, it has been found that behavioral learning theory helps in focusing on the ways of students' learning. The behavior learning theory can align and help to understand the student's view as well as the teacher's experience in utilizing the blended learning approach in the higher education. Moreover, the classical learning theory makes an active association of learning while two stimuli are linked together and producing the new learning responses in a student or learner. Mixed, methodolo mixed methodology was chosen to carry out and find out the impact of the variables from a blended learning perspective. For this research, the qualitative aspects are being covered by open-ended questions, while at the same time, closed-ended questions are used for quantitative analysis. The research design focused on using thematic analysis when it comes to qualitative questions and more statis statistic analysis based on the quantitative questions, which are being asked. The main participants in this research are teachers and students in higher education institutions of China, especially in the University of Jiangxi Province. A pilot test was carried out among five separate and random participants. Several significant discoveries came to light after conducting an exhaustive study on the data obtained from the students and the teachers. First, the findings suggested that the application of blended learning in higher education institutions in China has the potential to increase the degree to which students engage in and contribute to their own education. Second, the findings of the research showed that blended learning had a favorable impact on the academic achievement of students. In addition to this, the data suggested that both students and teachers considered blended learning to be an effective strategy in the context of higher education. According to the findings of, the, of this research, it is suggested that institutions of higher education in China investigate the possibility of adopting and promoting blended learning methodologies. However, significant consideration is to be given to addressing the issues that have been discovered, 
which may be done by making investments in the infrastructure, giving the re required technical support, and organizing training programs for teachers. Research in the future should continue to analyze the long-term consequences of blended learning and look into other ways that can be used to address the problems that are involved with its implementation. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.